Yes, you can do free motion quilting with the Singer Heavy Duty 4423 sewing machine. So let me show you how to set it up. You will need to purchase an optional darning foot. This is considered a low shank foot. I have one slightly different than the one pictured in your manual, the one that said for optional accessories. But let me show you what you're looking for. For any reason, you can get a foot that's similar in your local town. Otherwise, you can order it from Singer. So one thing that we need to do is actually unscrew the whole entire or the whole entire shank. So we're not just snapping the bottom foot off, we're actually unscrewing it and taking the whole ankle and foot off the machine. Since I've got the foot off the machine, I am gonna do the lowering of the feed dogs. Remember back here, you can slide this over. There's a little lever back here. I slid it to the right and you saw the teeth lower down. And that's nice because now we have a little bit more working space. Uh, it's nice and smooth as your fabric goes across your, the bed of the machine. And then also it doesn't matter what stitch length you're on. So you can just leave that wherever it is. We do have the machine set up for a straight stitch. Now with the darning foot, there is always some type of little bar or finger that is gonna stick out and that will need to sit above the screw that your needle goes in and out with. So as you slide this into place, just make sure that that is something that you've positioned correctly. And then make sure that even though I'm tightening this screw with my fingers, that when we get really close here, we're gonna make sure it gets nice and tight. So as it's going up and down, because it hops, you will not wiggle loose and get some something you're not uh, ready for. So make sure that's uh, secured well. And you can see this little finger is kind of above the needle screw there. And that's actually what will make it kind of go up and down as it is being stitched. Okay, so we have feed dogs down, the foot is on. There are some basic techniques for free motion quilting. Uh, really, just gotta get trying. <laughs> you gotta try it out. There is kind of a an art of bringing the fabric around at a smooth, uh, speed so the stitches aren't too long or too short. But I do like to bring my bobbin thread up and to do that uh, before you start is just hold on to the thread coming out of the needle and take one complete stitch. Bring your take up lever to the highest position, that's this little guy right up here, and then you can pull. That little loop of thread is actually the bobbin thread. By pulling your bobbin thread up to the top of the fabric and then finding where we kind of took that stitch, kind of there, here we go, is when we start to sew, we can hold those threads, plus we don't have to find that tail later and have to fish it out from all of our stitches. So here's the goal for free motion quilting. As you sew, you need to step on the foot control and find a, a medium speed, something not too slow, kind of like riding a bike, you'll fall over, and nothing too, too fast. And as you start, you're gonna just move the fabric in a smooth pattern. And at first, I wouldn't worry about trying to get the stitches, or I should say, don't worry about where you go on your fabric, let this be the practice. But what I need you to do is get used to moving the fabric in relationship to how fast you're sewing with the sewing machine. So I'm just kind of moving it around, kind of doing a little doodling here. When I stop, if the needle is up, I do want to reach over and sink the needle down. Hold the fabric so you don't lose that last stitch and you can see that you can have some fun with it. The other thing is, is you'll want to look underneath and see how the bobbin tension is actually looking. You want to be able to, and you usually are going to need to tighten the top tension. So like right now, my top tension is like six and a half. I have two different weights of thread in the machine. I have a fun variegated thread and just some normal sewing thread in the needle. When I get a few stitches away from where I started, I can clip that thread. I took a few extra stitches right at that point. So that way you can actually, it's locked. I don't have to worry about stitches coming out. So if you sew too fast and don't move your fabric, well, you get little tiny stitches. Or if you go too slow and move your fabric too fast, you might get long stitches. Neither of them are ideal. What you're looking for is something in the stitch length of kind of like how you sew, maybe about the two, two and a half stitch length. And that just does take practice. So there are things that I, I, I take classes. I love taking Craftsy classes. Um, Craftsy does offer a handful of 
machine quilting classes, whether you want to learn how to use your walking foot or learn how to free motion quilt or how do you pick patterns for your quilt. We'll put some links below this YouTube video. You can go back and um, see which ones I li like and which ones I recommend. But this is really just practice. So just remember when you're done, um, make sure you bring your feed dogs back up when you're completely done with free motion quilting. And before you know it, with a little practice, you can be quilting your own quilts on the Singer Heavy Duty sewing machine.